waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, I want to play this piece right now. It won't, it won't be all of it, but it counters Breitbart and the FBI informant Brandon Darby on record, this FBI-written article, saying that... Uh, you know, Harry Reid's not involved in anything. The Chinese aren't involved. It's all a big lie. We made it all up. Uh, here is uh, Paul Watson's piece up on Infowars.com that debunks that. The federal government is so desperate to hide Harry Reid's role in connection with a Chinese land grab linked to the Clive and Bundy standoff in Nevada that not only has the BLM deleted a key document from its website proving this connection, but they've also censored any trace or history of the document ever appearing on the internet in the first place. On Friday night, less than 24 hours before the standoff between Clive and Bundy supporters and the Bureau of Land Management, Infowars posted an article revealing Senator Harry Reid's link to the land grab, and it went on to become viral, attracting nearly 9,000 comments and being posted on the Drudge Report. The article revealed that one of the key reasons why the BLM wanted Clive and Bundy off the land and therefore began seizing his cattle was to clear it to make way for a solar energy project. As Reuters reported, Senator Harry Reid used his influence to push through a $5 billion deal for a Chinese energy company with close ties to the communist Chinese government represented by Harry Reid's son, Rory Reid, who oversaw the sale of 9,000 acres of public land, which was valued at up to $38.6 million, and then sold to this Chinese energy firm, ENN, for just $4.5 million. And Senator Reid also used his influence to help see Neil Kornzer, a former Reid advisor and confidant who was named as BLM's director just last week. And of course, hours after this scandal emerged, the BLM did indeed back down, at least for now, in the standoff against Bundy supporters there in Nevada. But of course, Reid came back just yesterday to assert that the ranch standoff, the BLM's siege against Clive and Bundy, was, quote, not over. And it's definitely not over for Reid because he plays that key integral role in selling off that land to this communist Chinese government-linked energy company, he's got a dog in the fight and he's not backing down. So why is the BLM and the federal government so desperate to hide Harry Reid's role in this land grab against Clive and Bundy? Well, to illustrate how desperate the BLM is to hide this connection, not only did they delete the document from their website, but as storm clouds gathering documents they even deleted the cached page on Google, which now returns this error. And to be clear, deleted pages are not automatically removed from Google's cache within a few days. The site's owner has to directly and deliberately contact Google and request that that cached page be removed. So not only has the BLM deleted the document from their website, they've ensured that nobody can go back to the Google cache and retrieve it via that method, despite the fact that it's already plastered across a thousand different websites, at least the screenshot of the document, thanks to... No, no the full document is too. The full document's everywhere. But the fact that they would directly request that Google even delete the cached version of this page just shows how panicked they are about people discovering it and people being able to verify that it is in fact true that they're kicking Bundy off the land, stealing his cattle to make way for a Chinese energy company linked to the communist government to build a solar energy project on that land. They don't want the American people to know about this because that would be a huge monumental rallying point around the fact that the US government, the state of Nevada, Harry Reid, is siding with the communist Chinese in a land grab directed against the American people. That's right, it's very emblematic. And furthermore, Great job, Watson.
Uh, the full report uh, is titled Fed's Desperate to uh, Hide Harry Reid Connection to Bundy Land Grab. It's up on InfoWars.com, and it shows all the maps, all the proof. <laughs> This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. All right, if you just joined us, I had to defend myself in the last hour because it's part of a larger frame-up by MSNBC, Media Matters, CNN, Nightline, Southern Poverty Law Center, to say that I'm calling for violence and that if there's terror attacks like Oklahoma City that we know is an inside job, it's my fault. And if they can do that to Alex Jones, they will demonize the entire real patriot liberty movement that is taking over the original Tea Party and that is taking over the Republican Party. We have a real shot here. So they want to say we're all racist, so minorities don't feel like they can be part of it. They want to say that we're terrorists. And they want to take the feds beating people up, pointing guns at folks, and creating free speech zones in southern Nevada and project that onto the people that showed up armed, project that onto them and claim they're terrorists that wanted to kill the feds. No, they exercised their Second Amendment as a check against the federal abuse where they said, we'll shoot you. Basically, if you protest, we'll shoot you. We have video of this if you come down by the property. This was North Korean style, Tiananmen Square style, classical authoritarianism. And it's got Harry Reid and the whole system scared. But you've got John Boehner and you've got the, the, the vice president uh, as well. 
coming out, Joe Biden, in a whole bunch of leaked recordings and, and, and meetings with their donors saying, we're worried about the Tea Party. You have the Republican leadership giving more money, this has been in the news, in the last year to defeat real libertarian constitutional John Birch Society style, whatever you want to call them, informed Americans to beat them running in state and federal races and local races. You have a circling of the wagons by the Republican and Democratic parties to destroy a revolution, a peaceful restoration through the Republican Party to try to get some sanity in this country with the Fast and Furious and the Solyndra and the Benghazi and the open borders and the, the, the secret treaties. I mean, it's all happening. There's a race to the finish because the globalists are behind schedule and people are waking up. I called for people to not be violent. I called for calm at the Bundy situation. We had reporters there at the front of it. Obviously, there were some people there calling for violence. We were against them. And we have a clip from Monday of David Knight rebuking someone on air for that. Glenn Beck comes out and says, the Alex Jones group wants violence. We can't be with them. Why would he join MSNBC and the rest of them? Because he's scared, folks. And he doesn't want to be blamed when they stage the next terror attack. And we have a clip of Glenn Beck on Fox News saying they're going to stage a new Oklahoma City and, quote, blame me. Because they got two Democratic Party memos talking about Glenn Beck and Alex Jones saying, boy, a new terror attack would sure be good to discredit these people. They didn't say we'll do it. They said it would sure help. And then, and then Shapiro advising Obama in the Financial Times of London said, we need a new Oklahoma City or 9-11 to get done politically what we want. I mean, the, they're very public about this. So the issue here is that you can see what would you do if you were the globalist with their socialist movement of domestication when the libertarian constitutional true conservative movements exploding as people wake up you would stage events and i get it beck you don't want to be blamed that we ought to find that clip it's on youtube i, I know the guys have it uh, 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 rob do has it it's uh, glenn beck warns of uh, false flag uh, and, and he said it on Fox clearer than anything. He said they're going to stage stuff and blame the liberty movement. Well, now he understands that that's probably going to happen. And so he's just saying, hey, the Tea Party's all bad. You know, basically, they're going to be behind the next thing. I don't care what you think. Out of fear. Okay, so the, the, this is going to happen. This was bound to happen. We need to be getting out there saying, A, we're not for offensive violence. B, we want to politically fix things. The sword is not as mighty as the pen. We are politically more and more winning. We need to all be very aggressive. But what's happening is a preemptive intimidation. If you get involved in the Tea Party, you're going to get blamed with the terror attack. No, if we don't grow the liberty movement now, they're going to stage the terror attack to blame us. And you see, I saw this, and then we're going to go to our guests for the rest of the hour. I saw this, uh, I mean, I was watching this in 1995. I got on air in 95. I went down and got an access show because they were airing the Oklahoma City local news almost you know, two nights later, almost in real time, every night on shows, showing the bombs being taken out, showing the witnesses that saw the FBI agents, the hotel receipts of the FBI agents uh, the night before, seeing Jane Graham, who saw them planting the bombs, seeing the cops speak out and later killed, seeing General Parton show up and explain the explosives in the back of the building. I mean, I was like, oh, my gosh. And I'd read a lot of history, knew about false flags. They voted to disregard federal UN executive orders in, in 1995 in Oklahoma. They voted to just start basically doing what the Tea Party's doing today. And it had to be done. And the Deputy Attorney General, quote, ran the cover up that came out in Jesse Trinidad lawsuits in Salt Lake City. He was sent down to, quote, cover things up. And we've got his emails. He was even using emails in 95. You know, out to the FBI people, you need to, this is a, quote, D-Day level emergency. Get down there, clean this up. And we know what then happened. And I'm telling you, folks, they did that to blame us. And they'll do it again. These people are, are pathological in their criminality. I told you Fast and Furious was staged. CBS got the documents that said this will be used to restrict the Second Amendment. Of course it was. Benghazi was a false flag to give the weapons to Al-Qaeda. Look at how they openly fund Al-Qaeda now. Look at how all that's come out now. I want to caution the establishment. Don't stage the same old tricks you played 15, 20 years ago. It will not work now.
We stopped your Syria takeover. We stopped your takeover to hand it over to Al-Qaeda in Egypt.